I'm trying to think of the right words. I told a dude a few years ago, you know, Christ is in Jesus, Yeshua, is in every chapter of the Old Testament. Every chapter. You have to look for him, though. You'll see him the most blatant, blatantly and obvious in Psalms. All the other, all the other books you really have to look for. But the other thing is, is with each prophet, or which with each type of Mashiach, um, and you have to understand that every Mashiach was a Christ. I mean, it, technically they are because Christ is basically anointed. Um, and Yeshua was, you know, the final anointing, pretty much, in the sense of people, like, there is no one else on this planet who can claim to be Jesus. He was perfect. But, You know, anyway, I was saying to my buddy, each prophet also was like, like what was going on with them was like a precursor for what was going to happen for Israel. And when I say Israel, I mean like Israelites. So in our case, you know, I believe what's going on with me is a precursor for Judeo-Christians. Truthfully, Israel. That's why I said, you know, I understand Wayne's message. Don't let go. And truthfully, I can't. Like, I can't. Even with her blocking me and saying whatever she, if that was even her... Saying what you said, like, I can't. It's not in me to let her go. In the sense of trying to move on. And truth, like I said, I've already tried to move on. I can't find anyone better than her for me. I can't. I've tried. But to me, it's like, it's almost, it's, it's like an allegory for me. Like what I, thinking back to what I said with my buddy, like, it's like we're separated right now, but it reminds me of like Israel right now, you know, it's going through some pretty hard things. The world hates Israel, essentially, you know, and I'm not saying Liz is the world. Liz wasn't the one that I was calling a worldly person. I was calling the people that mocked me and shit worldly. Because that's what the world would do. To someone trying to come help them. You know? Um... But it's like... That's why I said, like... It's not that I need a miracle. It's like, for me, this is a miracle. I am in love with this girl, right? And I can't get to her. 
God is in love with Israel. But Israel is stubborn. And God can't fully get to Israel. It's another reason why I don't believe that she is dead, like some people are trying to tell me. Because honestly, I believe that if she were to die, Israel would be destroyed. I believe I am going to see her again. And I believe, you know, I hope to marry this girl. I don't believe God would just give me dreams to give me dreams. You know, people could say, the devil gives you dreams, the devil gives you dreams. God gave me that dream. The devil is a creation. He's not God. The devil cannot create. He can only replicate. A dream is a creation. That is from God. Truthfully, I don't dream often. This past year was the most I've dreamt in a long time. At least that I can remember the dream. And it was her. Truthfully, I believe that this is, a, as I was telling my buddy before, I believe that this is like a precursor to what is happening in the bigger picture. Peace.